Hi, I'm Emma, and welcome to my psychology show, or psych show. Now, this is a show where we talk about psychological concepts and theories that could be applied to the real world, especially in the news and broadcast journalism force. For example, the case of impersonation formation. When we see someone for the first time, our brain automatically sends sensory stimuli to process everything about them. There, we calculate beauty from all the way to lips, hair, eyes, and sometimes even their nose. But sometimes beauty can affect our attitude and behavior towards this person. Reported on the 100 Human show on Netflix, they showed two criminals to a hundred people. Both criminals were charged with the same crime, but one criminal was subjectively more attractive. The results showed that the people gave a lesser sentence to the more subjectively attractive person. Now, why is this? Well, this is called the halo effect. It was coined by Edward Thorndike. But this concept does not stop in the courtroom. It even continues on in education and in the classroom. Kendra Cherry from A Very Well Mind said that the halo effect can influence how students treat teachers and that researchers found that when an instructor was more warm and friendly, the students tended to rate them to be more appealing and likable. So the old phrase here, don't judge a book by its cover, is actually a very weak point. Our brain actually can't help but to judge a book by its cover. Actually, when we walk into a room, our sensory stimuli is so strong and so fast that we've unconsciously already judged every single person we've seen. And the amount of bias doesn't stop here. We also tend to put bias towards ourselves and our own ideas. This is called confirmation bias. Basically, we tend to ignore information that might cast doubt on our own beliefs. But if we see something that confirms our beliefs, we tend to embrace that information. Let's say you're reading an article, and in that article it shows a scandal of your most hated musician. You hate this musician, but they've recently been involved in a scandal. Now, this scandal actually helps confirm your belief that this musician is a terrible person, although you know nothing about this person. And this can also be played with positive aspects. Let's say you believe that ghosts are real. Then, all of a sudden, a chair moves on its own. Let's say by the wind or by some natural occurrence. Or you read an article saying that ghosts are real. Of course, you only take in the information confirming that ghosts are real. Instead of actually going out and seeing other articles or watching other videos about how ghosts aren't actually real because this confirmation just makes you feel better. The confirmation bias could even be played out with major organizations with major followings such as the Flat Earth Society. Now I know this happens to me on a daily basis. I personally don't tend to agree with conservative views but I never take the time out of my day to really understand why these people believe the things that they believe and if I notice a familiar or personal face I probably will tend to see them to be more friendly or were more attractive. Now the halo effect and confirmation bias, those aren't something you can totally avoid, but you can work towards thinking twice before you take action or say something along those regards. And that's all the news I have for you today. I'm out of here.